God, I look greasy. I didn't shower today, so this is how it looks. I think we're good to go. You guys ready? We demand more poop. No, no, I think we've had quite enough. I've had quite my fill of poop. Thank you. When I was in Shawl, I had a crush on a girl. Some friends in common found out I liked that girl and threatened to tell her, making fun of me. Okay. Some days passed, and nothing came of it, so I Who thought cares? it was safe. But after some time, my crush started to send me some messages on Facebook, asking me what I was up to, well! what was like on the new school, and etc., trying to make well, a conversation. Well, look at that! It all worked out! But when I remembered years later and figured out Wh what was happening, I just cringed so hard. Really? One thing I remember was she asking what I was doing, and I replied, I'm watching the new Nintendo Direct. <laughs> they just announced Hyrule Warriors for the Wii U. Oh my god. Oh no! Oh, you had it! You told her you were a gamer? Oh, just say you're playing video games. You had to say Nintendo Direct, Hyrule Warriors, and Ryu. The dreaded triple cringe. Oh, man. Girls love Zelda? That's true. They don't love Hyrule Warriors. Oh, that's it. That's the, You won't even tell me. That's the end of the story. That's just how you ended it. When I was a senior in high school, my friends <laughs> and I were discussing people with stupid names. Okay. Some, it's a weird conversation. Someone brought up the name Diamond. Oh, and Diamond! I said, who the F has Diamond as their name? Yeah! That's stupid. Then I looked over next to me and a little girl, probably a freshman, had the name Diamond across her body. Still binder. dumb. Still stupid. I felt so bad. Sorry to all the Diamonds out there. All the Diamonds in chat. If Type one if your name is Diamond in chat. Go ahead and type that in the chat. Mallory uh, just started working with somebody whose name is Miracle. Bro, how... How arrogant do you have to be? This is the parents' fault, right? Yeah, Diamond, it's not the girl's fault she has a shitty name, but she does have a shitty name, and she has to get used to it. Just call yourself Dee Dee. You're Dee Dee now. I know a girl named Precious. <laughs> These people are getting named by fucking pirates. Uh, who? Dad is Long John Silver. What the fuck is this? One time I assumed that a little thing of candy at my local pizza shop was just free candy for kids, so I took it. <laughs> okay. Like all of it. Oh. Ten years old for reference. Not that bad. Kids are dumb. That's fine. Take all of it. Then I went back in one day and realized that the candy was one of those take a candy leave some money for kids with cancer. Oh. So I didn't just steal candy from children. I stole candy from dying children. Oh. It is my shame to this day. That's much worse. I can't find a way out of this. Yeah, I can't find a way out of this. You were ten. Yeah, I was gonna say, they probably overcharged for the candy. Like, it's a Kit Kat, and they charge, like, three dollars. I was like, wow, what a scammer. But the money is, uh, is not going to them. So, there's no way out of this, um, pretty cringe. The best way I can spend this, I don't Force know. At the Awakens, there was a lot of cosplay, and it was a major event at the theater. Sure. Across the street while waiting in line, we saw two people walking oh, by. Oh, God. One oh, with an God. interesting looking mask. Interesting. They weren't wearing a mask. Right? <laughs> no mask, maybe? Just an ugly person that looks like an alien? That can't be it. Some sort of alien race from Star Wars. <laughs> My dumb friend shouted out, Nice mask. And the person walked by the theater. It was not a mask. Oh, it was a horrible no! Acid scarring or something. No. Oh, that's bad. That's fucked up. Oh God. By the way, I like how if you notice, my dumb friend. Shot. Your dumb friend is the cringy. Are you your dumb friend? Did you? Are, are are you writing in to tell us a story that you did? And even now, you're trying to lie and say it wasn't you. Why did it have to be your friend? Huh? You're trying to hide your shame and embarrassment? Just say you did it. But this is something that happens in, like, cartoons. Not not to a facial disfigurement. Oh, God. I went to a national park as a kid and had to use the bathroom on a trail. Oh, I hate those. Thankfully, those are awful. there was a porta potty nearby. Okay. But inside this porta potty was the first urinal cake I had ever seen. Hmm. What does this person do with the urinal cake? They think it's soap? <laughs> Actually, that's a really good guess, actually. What is a urinal cake? Oh, God. 
This might be helpful for people in the future. Um, if you're watching this and don't know what a urinal cake is, if something's in the toilet, don't touch it. I don't care how good it smells. <laughs> Just don't reach in there. Leave it alone. I thought it was a bar of soap. Who said soap? Raise your hand in chat if you said soap. All right, so what'd I you do with it? I thought it was a bar. Everyone could smell it on my hands <laughs> and kept suspiciously sniffing the air when they got around me. Suspiciously? It does smell like soap. How suspiciously are we talking? Like, are they are they turning up their noses and like looking your your direction? How strong do those things smell? Extremely. Probably from a couple dozen feet away, I would say, because you gotta fill up a porta potty with the scent. Find a river. You gotta wash your hands like a raccoon or something. Just go in the creek. When I was in first grade, I was obsessed with Star Wars and would constantly pretend I would have a lightsaber. You have fuck. You have bad parents. I still contend that people won't like Star Wars unless their parents like Star Wars. Once I was on the lunch line, and then a girl looked at me and called me cute. So as a normal-minded person would, I responded with pretending to swing a lightsaber at her. <laughs> Dude, this is not cringe. You were in first grade. That's how you're supposed to respond. You're six or seven. This is how you deal with girls. Girls are under the power of, of the dark force. The darkness? What do they call it? The Sith? What's the fuck? It's cooties. It's cooties. That's what you do. You have to bat it away. Reflect the cooties. Women are the Sith. All women are Sith. A Wes. Good job staying pure. Isn't that like a thing for the force, right? You got to stay like pure of judgment and heart and mind. No love, right? I was in hip school and a guy wanted to ask me out for prom. Cool. I had told multiple people in our school club that I did not like this guy that way. Uh, because multiple mm -hmm. people were telling me he liked me. One morning I Ooh. walk into our club room before school and the guy is waiting oh, for me and there no. in a full tuxedo holding flowers and the rest of the club members are behind him holding up signs spelling prom but they spelled it backwards. <laughs> Why? Why did they fuck up? Why did they say morp? They fucked up his proposal. Prom, but they spelled it backwards. What did you do? I didn't know what to do, so I took the flower <laughs> and ran to hide in the girls' bathroom until the bell rang for class. I'm so sorry for you. Dude, this is fucked up because you've told multiple people you're not into this guy. They know you're not into him, and they're still... And allowing this behavior. They think you're being coy or something. That's a morp moment. Why do they spell it backwards? How do you get that wrong? You have all the time in the world to prepare. When I was in fifth grade, we had a mock student presidential election for the class. Cool. The two candidates were my friend and a girl who I didn't like for some reason. Why not? One day before the election, they both handed okay. out flyers for their campaign. Uh-huh. In support of my friend, I took the flyer she gave me, stood up in the middle of class, smiled. What did you say? And ripped it in half in front of her. She instantly started crying while I stood there <laughs> proudly thinking I helped my friend. The whole class was in shock, and I was instantly sent to the principal. Oh my god! Fuck, man! Political statement? Ah, <laughs> oh, you're trying to be there for your friend. Honestly, you probably fucked up her whole election here. This is the biggest campaign gaffe in history. Running a campaign of violence. My friend started distancing himself from you me and kids it. still talked about him throughout middle school. She won the election. I bet she did. Hey, but you know what? You've really helped out her campaign by being an asshole. You might have shaped her entire life. Honestly, this is, this is a good strategy for like false flagging. If you guys are in an election and you're watching this, like a like a class election, do this the other way. Do it to yourself and have your person, like whoever you want to win, your friend, just break down crying. Maybe you'll win. Not a bad idea. When I was in third grade, there was a really cute girl on my bus, and I wanted her to know. What did you do? Me. You act up? To do this, I channeled the coolest oh, character fuck! I could think of, Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That's so bad! 
Dragon become Pinkle, the character. Yes. The Let them I inhabit your body. The lyrics to all of me oh! from Shadow's hit game while staring out the window of the bus for a few weeks. Oh no, 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 no! I need a little bit of. I need some some context. This is you on the bus, huh? This is you on the bus, right? I started singing the lyrics to all of me from Shadow's hit game while staring out the window <laughs> of the bus for a few weeks. A few to weeks! To no avail of making her notice. A few weeks! Eventually she either finally noticed or got tired of me singing <gasps> under my breath. So she asked me what I was singing. Wait, this actually might be a connection moment. Maybe she likes Sonic the Hedgehog or at least video games. This might work out for you. I then proceeded to explain to her what Shadow the Hedgehog was for uh, about five minutes, to which she it. responded that sound fun, and then <laughs> turned back to her friend. We didn't talk after that. <laughs> Not a gamer girl, I guess. Yeah, this is a little bit too early for gamer girls, I think. Gaming was still a nerd thing. The first girl played a video game with the invention of, like, Candy Crush on the phone. Or, like, Bejeweled, I think, so... There was one time in high school a girl took my sweatshirt because she was cold uh -huh. and I had no idea how to put two and two together. <laughs> the next day, non-cold, my friends saw her in my sweatshirt and pushed Aww. me to talk okay. to her more. So I went up and asked for my shirt back <laughs> and only realized what happened years later. <laughs> your friend's fault for not making it clearer i think your friend should have made this explicitly abundantly clear that girl's into you go talk to her without telling you that this is not a matter of property or ownership although i <laughs> i guess you did get the the hoodie back or the sweatshirt back congratulations it's not a total loss i'm sure it was a comfy one in fifth grade I went on a field trip to the art museum. Uh huh. A girl I really liked was on the trip too, and I wanted to impress her by seeming really interested in the art. Sure. We went to one exhibit where there was some mask the tour guide really wanted to show us, but I misunderstood what art piece he was talking about. Huh? So I stared at a pair of women's <laughs> breasts chiseled from marble for like five minutes straight. you get it this wrong how did you get it this wrong he's talking about a mask you just look like a weird fuck. dude if i'm that tour guide i would be calling your fucking parents oh my god dude <laughs> you're just trying you're trying deeply to make some ah yes i can really see what the artist is going for here mm, excellent form on this one yes delightful <laughs> So I stared at Holy eventually shit. I figured out he a was true talking master about the mask work. and realized what it must have looked like. Yeah, pretty bad. I turned red and frantically looked around, and sure enough my crush was the only one <laughs> looking at me. She didn't look mad or disgusted. The only way I can describe her face was disappointment. D she thought you were- she's just an object. She thought you see women as only object- just staring at that. He's trying to talk about a mask, you're just looking. At the chiseled sculpture. Unbelievable. The statue was an object. Yeah, well, <laughs> yes, but you know, what does the statue have that I don't? I, well, if it's in fifth grade, probably breasts. That girl was probably feeling self conscious. Dude, honestly, again, tour guide's at fault here. Why isn't he taking you by the hand? Like, what's going on here? Analyze. What the fuck is this kid up to? When I was in elementary school, I just didn't know how to smile for pictures. Uh -huh. It really got to me, but at the end of fifth grade, I thought I solved the issue. Oh, it when is a skill. When the school fair had a stand for our class, my face literally <laughs> oh, this looked one. like the cringe emoji. Yeah. Just a full set of teeth and no smile. Okay, yeah. I have never wanted to take down a carnival stall <laughs> more than that moment. <laughs> I heard about that picture for like three months at the dinner table. <laughs> Uh, some people just smile like that. That's not crazy. I always feel bad for kids whose parents don't teach them how to smile 
or like shave when they get older. We talked about this on the last episode. Some parents don't tell you to use deodorant. What the fuck's up with that? Where you at on that one, dad? Like some parents just don't help, dude. Do something. Wait, Coney, how do I shave? What do I do? Don't, I'm not your fucking dad. I'm not your E-dad. Don't come to my stream looking for an E-dad. When I was in second grade, there was a kid in my class who liked to make fun of my ears. Classic. Classic body humor. You find the one thing on a guy, and you're just like, hey, big ears. I have thick ear lobes is all. <laughs> Sounds like you're sensitive about it. What's going on, big ears? <laughs> I just have thick ear lobes, that's all. It's just, uh, thick ear lobes. How thick? Did you have, like, cauliflower ear in the second grade? <laughs> one day... He flicked them and said, you got some buffalo. <laughs> I thought Funny the kid. word buff meant strong, powerful, because I had only ever heard Johnny Bravo I use it to describe himself. I think it does so mean I that. So I retorted with, oh yeah, <laughs> well, these buff ears are gonna beat you up. Then everyone laughed at me and would talk about my buff ears for the rest of the year. Bro, that's a sick retort. That's a sick comeback, dude. Well, beat that shit up. Boom, boom, boom. Just swing him around? That's not cringe at all, dude. You should have owned that shit. You should have beat the shit out of him. And then when he's on the floor, got anything else to say? And then, like, put the put the earlobe in his face. You ain't talking now, huh? I can't hear you. And you know that I could. Not everything is Street Fighter, Coney. <laughs> Imagine him beating the shit out of the kid. And you got the windscreen of you with the giant buff ears. He's got fucking scratches and bruises. Dun -dun -dun -dun. <laughs> Got anything to say now? You win. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> when I was little, I always wore the same Mario baseball hat that said game over on it with a cool ass go on on it. Hold on. Oh, damn. This is cool as hell. Oh, hell yeah. That hat go kind of crazy. Wait a minute. Out of stock at Walmart. <laughs> this shit flying off the shelves. My great grandpa had died and I didn't really know what death was yet. <laughs> So I wore it through the entire funeral service. <laughs> Bro, come on. Dude, if I'm your grandpa, I am punching the fucking air in heaven or hell. I am so fucking mad. I had raised a, a, a lineage that would not tell my great-grandson to take off his fucking hat. How did he die? <laughs> like, if he died of natural causes, that's fine. But if he was, like, mauled by an animal or something, <laughs> fell in a pit. <laughs> Game over, Grandpa. <laughs> Someone jumped on his head. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Some people are crying. You got this fucking Goomba hat on. That's funny. That's a good story. Again, where are the parents? I blame the parents. In middle school, I got into anime by reading Naruto. Gross. I was talking to one of my friends and they mentioned they had one of the headbands. So I bought it off him for $7. Cool. The next day, after getting it, I was excited to get it and wore it to my Spanish class like Kakashi. I bet you did. My teacher told me to take that <laughs> shit off in front of the whole class, and I was so embarrassed I have never worn it again. <laughs> Boy, your teacher kind of... Uh, you know what? That teacher had seen that fucking headband probably for the 30th time that day. Take that shit off. Oh, wait a minute. There's more to the story. My teacher... It's been 10 years. Good. Your teacher set you on the right path. That's what they're supposed to do. This is what teachers are supposed to do. I said before, parents, where are the parents? Why aren't they telling kids to take off the Goomba hat or apply deodorant? No, this guy was there for you when your parents weren't. Should he have done it in front of the whole class? Perhaps not, but you did learn a valuable lesson. When I was like seven, my family was supposed to go to the water park. Cool! But the day before, my sister caught a stomach bug and the plans got canceled. Fuck! No way! Dude, it's gotta suck to have siblings. I was really bummed about it. Yeah, I'd be mad the as hell. Day, I was getting water from the fridge, but the water missed the glass and hit the floor. Okay. I had the brilliant plan of making a water slide in the kitchen at that point. Cool! I couldn't find my swimming trunks, so I ended up doing it naked. Not cool. This was like a Caillou episode, and it took a bad turn. 
Don't do this. My mom came back from shopping to find me sliding around a flooded <laughs> kitchen naked. I was not grounded either for some reason. Wee! You got a slip and slide on the kitchen tile? How much fun were you having? I feel like I would do that for like five minutes and be like, this sucks. There's not even a slide. How big is your kitchen? Are you rich? She was laughing too hard to ground you. I, I would not be laughing. Knew some kids that did this in the showers in high school. What? What the fuck? They got the showers on and the floor is all wet and they're just sliding. Wee! <laughs> Naked? It's a wrestling thing. Is it? Wrestling team, probably. What the fuck? What? Wait, what? Why does everybody know? Huh? So I was friends with this girl, and we hung out all the time. Cool. We would spend afternoons at her place, and she would put my arm around her shoulder Aww. and place her head That's in my lap. That's sweet. One day after eating out right as I was about to get in my car, she asked, What are we? Ooh. I thought about it for a few seconds, looked her in the eyes, and said <laughs> we're just a couple of dudes. Then I got in my car and left. <laughs> Just a couple of dudes. Bye. <laughs> What's better than that, huh? Those guys being do. Oh, man. Uh, it might have been a trick, right? Maybe she was trying to trick you. She's playing the long con. <laughs> Putting your head on her lap and, and your arm on her shoulder and stuff. Oh, this is, is going to fuck him up. Generational trauma. Once I get this dude, I'm going to make him think I like him and then bam. Tony, you have to stop with this trick shit. Maybe women have to stop with the trick shit. How about that? I'm sick of living in a society where women are allowed to do this and men just have to take it. I've, I hate doing this because somebody's going to take it seriously. I can't. I shouldn't do it. Somebody's going to be like, yeah, finally. Uh, I can't. I can't. I can't. Uh, uh, already in too deep. <laughs> it started with women be shopping. And then it just... This one time when I was a freshman, me and my friends were joking about the rule our school had about not letting students wear clothing that would show their shoulders. Dude, that was so weird. That was common. Um, I, I, I had one of those too. For some reason, I thought it would be funny to text this girl <laughs> I knew and ask her for shoulder pics. Okay. Yeah, that is kind of funny. <laughs> if, if you know that they'll take it the right way, that is funny. As long as you know that they're going to take it, the, 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 if she's in on it, this is funny. Okay. Pop them shoulders. What them shoulders do? About five minutes later, oh, her mom no! me and said that her daughter was to be treated with respect. <laughs> I apologized to both of them and was insanely stressed out for the rest of the day. What them shoulders do, ma? Huh? Show a little shoulder for daddy, huh? <laughs> oh, my God. This is a good story. This is just peak cringe because you did something totally fine and silly and normal. And, and the mom just, oh, dude. Double down and ask for the mom's shoulder pics. <laughs> yeah, mom made it weird here. This is the mom's fault. All right, last story. Make it a good one. I was in middle school and I had a crush on the girl the year above me. This always happens with the older girls. We both did stage crew during the winter musical. Okay. I was in charge of moving the door and the door was on wheels. All right. The what happened? The night of the last show I was going to ask her out, but when I was rolling the door Ooh. off stage and I hit her in the finger Ow. and broke her finger, she missed school until past New Year. Oh! You broke her finger with the door? She missed school until past the for a finger injury? What the fuck? Give her a splint. How bad was it? Yeah, you fucked up. Did that shit come off? When you said broke, do you mean like it wasn't attached? What did you do? She milked that shit. Yeah, she didn't want to see you anymore. She just wanted to stay away from you specifically. She didn't like you because you broke her finger and you fucked up. Thanks, guys, for tuning in to another edition of Cringe Confessional. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to submit your stories to cringe.coney.gg. And who knows, maybe you'll show up on the next episode. Remember to subscribe. And hey, like the video. And if you didn't like it, well, then you'll make a better one. I'll see you next time on Cringe Confessional. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Okay. Chat, they can't see you.